do. I made a Rosetta's Red Pyros. Once you get your enclosure, step one, propel your enclosure. You're going to want to seal those seams with silicone so you don't get leaks. Don't just use silicone on your fingers. We know that the water. Once you have your enclosure prepped, layer one is substrate. That's dark. Figure out the environment that your animal needs. To choose the right substrate for your bioactive enclosure, ask yourself, where does this animal come from? Does your reptile like it dry or lush? I like it wet because I'm an alligator! There's a lot to think about. For example, when collecting materials, you might need a variety of products, and to manage the humidity, your substrate might need a drainage layer. Luckily, there are resources like these that offer substrate options and even setup kits that are animal specific. Layer two, plants. Just like everything else in a bioactive enclosure, the type of plants you use will be specific to your animal. The easiest plants to be found so far are spider plants and pothos. Layer three, bugs. Bugs. More lovingly referred to as the cleanup crew. In the beginning, I was a little nervous about bringing bugs into the house, but it makes taking care of the enclosure so much easier. I love them. The cleanup crew can be anything from springtails to isopods, even worms. But Ayla has a clear favorite. It's an isopod. The bugs work to keep things sanitary by eating rot, waste, and even poop. Level 4, Extension and Enrichment. Gather your materials. Yes, for a bioactive enclosure, we gather up the essentials, like basking stones, hides, water dishes, the appropriate lighting. We also gather up things that act as enrichment, like substrate, bugs, additional rocks, plants, and vines. From time to time, we spruce things up and move them around, keeping our animal curious, active, and we think happy. And now you're ready to put it all together. This is the fun part. What's your treasures looking great now find the lights? In addition to basking and UVB lights to keep your reptiles happy, in a bioactive enclosure, you're also going to need grow lights to keep your plants happy. One, substrate. That's dope. Two, plants. Hmm. Three, cleanup crew. Bugs. Four, materials, essentials, and enrichment. Five, a special light for plants. Please like this video. Hmm. We hope we've piqued your interest about bioactive enclosures. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And subscribe. Zeta's Reptiles.